Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're unfamiliar with me, I am Ren and welcome to my channel. Before I get onto the video, I wanted to ask people to join my Discord server. I have some video ideas planned that will be involving it soon. So if you want a chance to participate in the video, feel free. All links are in the description. If you do not know who Aspen is, I have another video up about her and her misdeeds, like harboring an unsafe space for minors in her Discord server and even talking inappropriately. If you don't know who Aspen is, I have another video up about her and her misdeeds, like harboring an unsafe space for minors in her Discord server and even talking inappropriately to a 16 year old online about ERP. Aspen is highly toxic and tends to spread that toxicity everywhere she goes. Today we have a doozy. Um, Aspen was on hiatus for a bit, then as soon as she comes back, I find out that she verbally harassed an IRL streamer and then proceeded to call him a child lover, or I guess she called him a child lover and then verbally harassed him. <laughs> this streamer goes by the name of Tectone, he was live streaming he was live streaming himself opening up some Pokemon cards, like playing cards, and Aspen happened to be in that same store. While being within his presence, Aspen decided to yell a gay slur at him in public in front of kids. But before doing all of that, she proceeded to make him look like a child predator on Discord, and then after calling him the slur, she still called him a child predator because he got rightfully angry at her. Unfortunately for Aspen, Tectone was not putting up with her shit, thank god, and called her out on Twitter and then she went private on virtually everything. From my understanding, he was there before Aspen was, he was just opening up some Pokemon cards as I said before, and this child wanted to watch him open up the cards and he started having a conversation with the child's mother, so they just sat down and watched him. During that conversation though, I guess they spoke a little bit too loudly in this public area because Aspen had posted on Discord that she was in the same store as this man. She found him to be loud and annoying. She then posted in the same Discord server that for $50, she would call Tectone a slur in front of his stream and in front of that child and his mother. If she truly found him that annoying, she could have just she could have just asked him herself to keep it down or ask staff in the store like that she was in to talk to him yet she didn't. I personally am just under the belief she wanted a reason to call this man a, like a slur on stream just to be an ass. However, he didn't stand for that so he confronts her and apparently she just ducks out and dips away so he makes a Twitter call out. So today on stream I had to some random VTuber IRL who found it appropriate to call me the F slur around children. He immediately confronted them, then they ducked away and ran. Found a discord where they're in and found them trying to pull a stunt to ruin my reputation and promote me ending myself. You're a a coward and when you're confronted you ran away. You should be ashamed of what you did in front of those children. It's so easy to be nice in this world and you chose to be a c**t. You ain't gonna do shit, so shut the fuck up and sit down like the bitch you are. Aspen Entourage is their at and they locked their account already like a we hope it was worth the $50. Aspen then proceeded to spend this whole tale in Discord that, that he was dating the underage child in a photo, smearing him as a child lover for even knowing who he was. Like, she just said this. Uh, everyone, I'm at the card shop trying to paint Warhammer right now, and this guy is live streaming opening up some Pokemon cards loud as fuck with his underage looking girlfriend, and it's taking everything in my power not to go up to him and call him an F slur. For $50 I'll do it lol while in the same chat saying that him confronting her made her feel like she was the one in danger because she's short again she randomly called Tectone a slur in real life in front of kids while he was live streaming. He confronted her for her actions and she spins it like she's the victim and he was the creepy child lover who made her feel unsafe. <laughs> Bro, we left because I was in fear for my life. I'm literally half his age in 411. An IRL streamer was streaming in a store I was at and I call him an F slur and he heard it. He's still pissed, haha. <laughs> oh god, what an asshole. I would have told him to go end himself. 
please YouTube don't demonetize me. Clip it and we ruin his entire streaming career. Just these screenshots alone feel like, make me feel like Aspen did this out of just like pure malice. There was no reason for any of this to happen, yet it fucking did because Aspen has absolutely zero self-control and no care for those around them. The fact you started this by calling him a child lover got people to incentivize you to do this by asking for money to do it. You then get upset when you're confronted for these actions and then lied about how unsafe you felt. You painted him as the bad guy from the jump solely because you found him mildly annoying. You literally spout out life-ruining accusations about a man doing nothing wrong besides opening Pokemon cards on a live stream. Oh, and the apology you gave was even worse somehow. I apologize for my outburst earlier and I offer my sincerest apology to Tectone for my language. I have been off my antipsychotics for a number of days and forgetting them when traveling and was just not managing my anger properly. It was extremely inappropriate and I need to do a better job managing my impulses. I will be offline for a few weeks to focus on my therapy. I became extremely paranoid and I apologize for feeling like you were going to hurt me. You have the full right to be upset. So we're not taking accountability, we're just going to blame it on our lack of medication. Medication. And I do also find it hard to believe that this was just on impulse. Uh, you literally asked to be paid just to do it. You did not impulsively yell this. You were paid to yell this. You had an ample opportunity to just not do it at all, but you pinged a discord chat, asked for $50, and then did it. You had time. <laughs> I also do not see any apology for the part where you called him a child predator. You did not even mention you called him that based on your own poor assumption. Calling people predators is not funny, it's not a joke, it can be life ruining. Also wild that you are going around assuming people are child predators and, and accusing them of this aspen because last time I checked, Tectone wasn't the one asking a 16 year old about erotic roleplay on a live stream and doesn't run an unsafe environment that children are a part of on Discord. Very rich for you of all people to go around implying someone has relations with an underage individual. Once more we're seeing how aspen is just unable to take accountability it's not the fact you didn't take your meds aspen it's on you you did this you had someone pay you to do this stop with the excuses and just get off the fucking internet you're a gross person with zero self-control and absolutely zero self-awareness. You're just making things worse for yourself. You're not the haha -ha funny troll you think you are. You are a fucking lol cow. Anyways, I think that wraps everything up. If you want to support me and my content, you can subscribe and leave a comment. And if you want to buy my next happy meal from McDonald's, you can become a channel member or subscribe to my Patreon. Anyways, I'm Ren. I'm tired and thank you for watching. Hold on though, it's not over yet. Aspen has returned from the psych ward and I think we do get an end to this saga, or I hope we do. Guess who's back from the psych ward? After giving multiple days to reflect, a proper DID diagnosis, and a very intensive outpatient treatment plan that I will be attending for six hours a day for five days a week for god knows how long, I've come to the conclusion that I should not have a platform. Shocking, right? I will be going on an indefinite hiatus. Effective immediately. I've privated my TikTok, uninstalled all of my content creation and streaming software, and made a new Discord account only for my uh, closest friends friends, many of which are IRL. I have a lot of deeply rooted trauma that is only growing more harmful the longer I keep engaging with people this way, not to mention I am harming people. I am projecting the same anger and hate that made me like this back at people, people who do not deserve it. People who only commit the crime of saying the wrong thing to me. Yes, people need to manage their own triggers. Yes, this is the internet, but that is not a free pass for me to justify harming people even though it was even though it was only with aggressive targeted words. I might be back someday, maybe six months, maybe a year, maybe never. If I ever do come back, I want to help people, to truly help people from a place of love, not 
not from a place of spite and annoyance it was coming from until i know i can do that i will be not be i will not be posting or engaging with anything period i will be leaving the fate of this server up to the mods as i do feel like it is a fun space for people and they worked very hard on it and who knows i may i may peep my head in here every once in a while to slide people i miss and am ready to reconnect with my new app i have no idea how to read that or how that reads i just wanted to throw this out there that i hope aspen does stick to her recovery plan and for the betterment of those around her and for everyone that she interacts with but i guess my personal response to this is good riddance and don't come back aspen has demonstrated that she is unsafe for young people to be around especially vulnerable young people without aspen here the internet is a tiny bit safer for those people and also apparently she does say this often so we will see how long this truly lasts uh many people are speculating that she'll leave and then come back once the drama dies down i hope that she's leaving and seriously going into recovery because it is for the betterment of everyone else around her and for herself. I also hate how she has downplayed her actions in this apology. Like, girl, you didn't just call people slurs for disagreeing with you. You literally harbored an unsafe space for minors and engaged inappropriately with them and then also put people around them that should not have been around them. I am referring to Meowba. You know what you did. Everyone has brought it up. Fuck, I have a literal 25 minute video proving to you that it's not just the slurs. It's everything else you're doing as well. So it's, you should not be downplaying what you have done like this. Um, but I really do hope that she sticks to recovery and that it all does end up going well for her. But anyways, this is the update. Um, I probably won't update this again as I cannot be asked to and it's just a whole lot of drama that I don't want to keep up with. I just saw the whole tech tone thing and thought that that was really fucked up and that's the only reason I sat down to record this. But anyways, update over. Bye bye for real this time and thank you all for watching.